Okay. Um, finally, now we need to create a model for the actual assertion. So we have the model for the comment resource. We have the model for the user role, and now we must have the model for the actual assertion that does the check. I'm calling uh, calling this uh, comment assertion and I'm implementing then a CL assert interface oh yeah, and uh, in case I didn't explain that either the interface is a special type of class that defines the rules used by the class that implements it and to remind ourselves what needs to be put inside of the assertion interface or rather the class that implements it uh, according to this, we must have an assert method. Okay, fair enough. Which means that the ACL from which I am going to call this method, or uh, the ACL from which I am going to uh, call this class, is going to run assert. So. Uh, and this is where the role and the resource interfaces come into play. They must be specified as the parameters for this uh, method. And it must be of specific type, which is the reason why we implemented it here like that. So if that's still not clear enough, uh, going back to the API documentation here. The assert method must have as parameter an instance of ACL which we will get uh, because we are which we will get automatically because we're going to call this uh, Math, uh, this class we are creating now from the ACL itself. Uh, we must have the role. We must have an instance of role interface, which is the reason why we implemented the role interface when we did the user role. Uh, we must have an instance of a resource interface, which is the reason why we implemented the ACL resource interface in our resource. And the privilege is going to come from the ACL and it's a string, so um, that's pretty easy. Okay, so following those set of rules, uh, we're going to create these parameters. And the default values are null, of course. And uh, in case this uh, looks strange, uh, this is the technique in object-oriented programming where we specify the type of the variable that is required. So this is kind of like from C++ uh, and Java where that uh, type must be defined because they're strong type languages. Uh, so in PHP, uh, the variables are not strongly typed so when we do need to enforce a certain uh, variable structure we put the expected type in front of it so as much as PHP is loosely typed language we can force the types if necessary and in this case the type is all this ACL stuff
Yeah, right. Notice how I'm not putting the type uh, for the privilege variable because, as we've seen here, it's just a simple string. Okay, so uh, that's out of the way. That was uh, lots of typing. And um, yeah, before I jump typing it, the whole point of the assertion is to return true. So the decision of whether the current user is able to edit the comment or not will depend on the return value of this assert method. So if it returns true, then we can add it. If it returns false, we cannot add it. And of course, the way we check whether it's a, uh, and of course, the way we check whether it should return true or not uh, will be based on whether the currently logged in user ID, which came from the ACL role, is equals to the owner ID of the comment, which came from the ACL resource. Uh, so hopefully this uh, is clear now on the purpose of these two classes, the role and the resource interfaces. We are now taking the information from these objects, which in our case is the user ID, and uh, owner ID and if they are equal we return the true otherwise they are not allowed okay so that's basically your overall ace, uh, assertion structure completed we have the role that contains the user, currently logged in user, created here and passed into, or will be passed as an argument into the assert method here. We have the resource class passed as a parameter here and we use them to get the owner ID from the comment resource and the user ID from the logged in user. Compare them, they equal allow to edit, not equal, do not allow to edit. So now that we have the facility to check the permissions, uh, we now got to do the actual permission checking. And that's going to be done with the help of the usual is allowed method. So the same way we check whether the resource and privilege combination is allowed in here when we um, visit a certain control and an action we, you know we check whether the currently logged in user is able is allowed to view books or is allowed to use administration uh, we're going to do the same thing with a, with a is allowed method on the individual comments uh, so that would of course call for a uh, creation of the comment resource in the main ACL. And that of course, as I said before, will have to be identical to the resource ID in the comment resource uh, implementation. This is how the ACL uh, able to link them. Now, the dilemma here is that uh, we call the ACL quite early in the bootstrap before the dispatcher is able to run. So that means that the directory structure of the MVC layout is not yet set. Uh, 